Hello and welcome to Zoo3D. We can take pictures by pressing this red capture button up here. Each image we take appears down on the timeline. As we move our character we can see the last frame we took overlaid upon the current live image from the camera. And this is useful for seeing how much you've moved your character each time and it's also helpful if you happen to knock him over. You can see where your character was and put him back in the same place. As well as pressing the red capture button to take pictures, you can also press number one on the keyboard to take one picture, two to take two pictures, and so on. If whilst you're animating, you accidentally take a picture of your hand, like I've just done, you might not realize, you might carry on filming, but you can always step back through your film, find the frame with your hand in it, and press the yellow dustbin to delete it. And then we can carry on going. Now at any point in time, we can watch back our film so far. So we just jump back to the beginning and then press play to see our film. And there it is. At the moment we can see every single frame in our film on the timeline. If we use this slider over here we can zoom out and see all those frames grouped together as a clip. And now I can copy that whole clip and paste it and then move it around on the timeline. With it selected I can press this reverse clip button down here and that reverses the order of the frames in the second clip. So when we watch our film now we get his arm going down and coming back up again and I can copy and paste that a few more times like this. You can also join clips together so we can uh, select multiple clips and press this join button to join them all together. So if we zoom out now we can watch our whole film like so. You can speed up and slow down your film so if you made it too fast uh, you can slide this slider towards the tortoise, you can also click on the tortoise uh, and it will play back more slowly or as you get better at animating, you can slide it towards the hair and play back a nice, fast, smooth animation. Now you can carry on doing that, adding more to your film, but you can also add in sound effects and music. So we go onto the Sound tab up here and click on Import. Zoo 3D comes with a whole library of different music and sound effects and uh, ambient background tracks. But for now, I'm going to choose some music so we can preview it. And we're happy with it, so we press Import. Zoo so 3D brings it into the Project Sound Library up here, and then we can just drag it down onto one of the audio tracks. You can see the waveform of the sound, which is great for animating because it means you can see when events are happening in your music or uh, narration. Now that music is much too long for our film, so I'm going to select, uh, yeah, select it so it goes yellow, and get the red play cursor where I want to cut it, and then click on the scissors over here to cut it. That's now cut it into two separate pieces, and I can select the second one, and click on the yellow dustbin to delete it. To make it fade out at the end of our film, we just grab a fade and drop it in over the end of the music here. With the sound selected, you can adjust the length of the fade by clicking and dragging there. You can also hover over the top edge of the sound and click and drag to set the volume of the sound. All of these video tracks are customizable, the height's customizable, so you can click and drag to adjust the height. It makes it easier to see what you're doing here. So when we watch our film now, there's our music. You can also record sound straight into it. So we've got on the red microphone button, uh, and then we can press this red button to record. Hello! And we can preview it. Hello! So that sounds good. So we give it a sensible name, hello, and then press OK. And that also goes into the project sound library. And then we can click and drag to put it down onto another of these audio tracks. So when we watch it now, hello! There's our film. So we can carry on adding more sound effects, but now I'm going to look at uh, adding titles and credits. So we've gone to the Titles tab here, uh, and we can click on Titles button to add some titles at the beginning of our film. This opens up this Title Creator window, uh, and in here you can have text boxes that make up your title. So I'm going to enter in some text into this text box, but you can have as many text boxes as you like. So you can click and drag or press this plus button down there to add more. And then each of the text boxes can have a different style applied to it. So you can choose one of these styles, adjust the size of your text box, and then you can customise the style. So you can make the text bigger and smaller, change the colour of it, uh, change the effects that are applied to it, it's got an outline and a shadow. You can also change the way that the whole title appears in your film. So up here, you can click on this and you can choose whether it's going to fade in or zoom or spin and adjust the speed of those effects there. Here you can see what proportion of the title is the uh, is the introduction of it. You can adjust the length of the title there. You can also change the way the title exits from your film, so whether it zooms out or zooms away, however you want it to do it. 
and you can change the background so you can have different colors or fades between colors or choose from some of these sample pictures or click on browse and choose any picture that's on your computer so when you're happy with your title press ok and that goes in at the beginning of our film now we want the music to uh, be in either our title <coughs> so we just click on the music and drag it to the start of our film and then we can extend it here getting back some of what we chopped off before uh, and now let's add some credits so we click on the credits button this will automatically add credits at the end of our film and Zoofood has chosen this, the preset style of credits which has got scrolling on already so we can just click in here enter in our text for our credits whatever it's going to be and uh, oh, press OK and that automatically goes in at the end of our film you can select the title and click and drag to adjust the length of the title like that now you can also overlay text over your film or overlay speech bubbles so I'm going to put that red play cursor where I want my speech bubble to appear and then press this overlay speech bubbles button this brings up the title creator window again but with uh, speech bubbles loaded so we can now enter in some text for our speech bubble and again we can customize it make the text bigger and smaller, move it around you can flip the speech bubbles around or choose a variety of styles of speech bubbles when you're happy with this speech bubble press OK and that goes into our film here we can click and drag to move it around now the fade, like the same way that we drop the fade on the end of the sound you can drop the fade in on the joints between clips like this so when we watch our film back now hello there is that last title was a bit quick so we can select it you can either right click and say edit title or with it selected you can press this edit button at the top here and you go onto the animations tab here and slow down the scrolling like that and it's made it longer to fit all of my text in so I can just make that music a bit longer if I wanted to hello and then when you're finished you can press on this export button here Export your film as an MP4 file and then upload it either to the Z3D Online Animation Gallery or to YouTube. So that's all the key features of making a quick animated film. In more advanced tutorials we'll look at the green screening tools and the drawing tools.